वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन जेड पैरामीटर कैलकुलेशन सो लेट अस सी द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट सो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व हियर वी आर हैविंग टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड जेड पैरामीटर फॉर दिस नेटवर्क नाउ माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड दिस वेन एवर यू हैव सिंपल pi network or t network then by solving two equations we can have directly z parameters but if you don't have simple pi or t network then you will have to follow basic process right otherwise you cannot have direct answer like by solving two equations we can have complete z parameters so i don't see this is very simple pi network or t network right so i need to solve this circuit as per open circuited parameter which is z parameter so first what i'll do is i'll keep this port to open right so in that case i2 will be 0 and we need to find v1 by i1 that is z11 and v2 by i1 that is z21 z11 that is input impedance and z21 that is v2 by i1 which is forward transfer impedance after that we need to provide open circuit at port 1 and when you provide open circuit at port 1 i1 will be 0 so in that case v2 by i2 that is z22 that is port 2 impedance or you can say output impedance and v1 by i2 that is z12 that is reverse transfer impedance so that is how we need to find all the parameters so let us keep port 2 open circuit first now i have redrawn the circuit in which i'll be keeping port to open circuit and as if port to is open circuit i2 will be zero right now see this v2 that will appear over here and this v1 that will appear over here now i don't see any simple way by which i can have direct calculation of v1 by i1 or v2 by i2 right so here what we need to do is we need to make nodal analysis at v1 and v2 so we'll be having two equations i2 is zero so we'll be having two equations of i1 v1 and v2 and by solving that we can have v1 by i1 and v2 by i1 right so for that first of all i need to consider currents in this resistors so let us say over here current is i dash over here current is i double dash and let us say over here current is i triple dash right so let us apply kcl at node v1 so entering current that is equals to leaving current entering current is i1 and leaving current is i dash and i double dash so i1 that is equals to what is i dash tail voltage minus head voltage divided by resistance tail voltage is v1 here we have ground so v1 by 1 that is i dash plus i double dash that is tail voltage minus head voltage divided by resistance so that is v1 minus v2 divided by 2 so that is what i double dash now i can say i1 that is equals to v1 plus v1 by 2 so that is 3 by 2 v1 minus half v2 let us say this is equation 1 now what i'll do is i'll derive second equation by considering kcl at node v2 and then i'll make a relation of v1 i1 and v2 i1 right so at node v2 entering current is i double dash and leaving current that is i triple dash and 3 i1 now what is i double dash v1 minus v2 by 2 as per tail voltage minus head voltage divided by 2 right and what is i triple dash i triple dash is tail voltage that is v2 by 2 plus 3 i1 now you see v1 by 2 that we have over here and minus v2 by 2 on other side it will make it 2 Plus v2 by 2, so v2 by 2 plus v2 by 2 that will be 2 v2 
and 3 i 1 over here it will be minus 3 i 1 that is equals to v 2 right. So, this is my second equation. Now, what I will do is I will substitute v 2 in first equation. So, I can have relation of v 1 and i 1. So, i 1 is equals to 3 by 2 v 1 minus half and v 2 is v 1 by 2 minus 3 i 1. Now, you see here i 1 is there and minus minus plus 3 by 2 i 1 that will be on other side it will be minus 3 by 2 i 1 right and that is equals to 3 by 2 v 1 minus 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 so minus 1 by 4 v 1 right. So, I can say this is minus half i 1 that is equals to 3 by 2 minus 1 by 4. So, that is 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4. So, that is 5 by 4 v 1. So, now I can have v 1 by i 1 and that is you see minus half divided by minus 5 by sorry plus 5 by 4. So, that is this 2 will go in numerator and 5 in denominator. So, minus 2 by 5 ohm and that is what v 1 by i 1 means z 1 1 and z 1 1 is what? It is input impedance or you can say port 1 impedance. Now, all we can do is we can substitute this v 1 in terms of i 1 in this equation right. So, now you see we will be having v 1 over here. So, that is minus 2 by 5 into half i 1 minus 3 i 1 is equals to v 2. So, I can say this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled minus 1 by 5 minus 3. So, that is minus 1 minus 15. So, minus 16 by 5 i 1 is equals to v 2. So, I can say v 2 by i 1 that is z 2 1 and that is minus 16 by 5 ohm and what is z 2 1 that is forward transfer impedance right. Now, for next two parameters of z matrix we need to have port 1 as open circuit. Now, see port 1 is open circuit means what? I 1 that will be 0 right and as if I 1 is 0 you see this will be 0 and as if this current is 0 I need to remove this current source right. Now, simply all we need to do is we need to simplify V 2 by I 2 by just measuring impedance in between these two terminal right. So, V 2 by I 2 that is z 2 2 and that is 2 parallel. Now, you see here current is 0. So, I can say 2 in series with 1. So, 2 plus 1. So, 2 parallel 3. So, that is 2 into 3 6 by 2 plus 3 5. So, 6 by 5 ohm. So, now I got the value of z 2 2 and now see this v 1 that is a voltage which is appearing at this terminal right and as if you want to find v 1 in terms of i 2 then first what we need to find current passing through this resistor right. So, see current is happening like this over here let us say this current is i dash right. So, what I will do is I will find i dash as per current divider. So, i dash that is total current i 2 into opposite resistance. So, that is 2 divided by total resistance. So, that is 2 plus 3. So, I can say i dash is i 2 into 2 by 5. Now, I can have v 1. So, v 1 is what? v 1 is simply i dash into resistance 1 right and now i dash is i 2 into 2 by 5 
so I can have simply v1 by i2 that is z12 that is 2 by 5 right and this is what reverse transfer impedance and this is z22 that is impedance at port 2 or you can say output port impedance. So now we have all four parameters of Z matrix. So if you want to write Z matrix then that is Z11, Z12, Z21, Z22. So Z11 that is minus 2 by 5 that is minus 0 0.4. Z12, so Z12 is 2 by 5, so that is 0 0.4. Z21, so that is minus 16 by 5, so that is minus 3.2. Z22, so Z22 that is 6 by 5 means 1.2. So that is how we can have Z matrix for given electrical network. I hope you have understood this. See, you will have to practice these questions. Right. Once you have practice, you will be finding answers very quickly. So it is highly essential to have practicing of this type of questions. I'll be definitely going to place many questions regarding two port network. Some tricky questions in one will be there. Right. I want to tell you like how basic process is there. That's why I have made two, three videos based on how to follow basic process. After that, there will be some tricky questions even. So that will resolve your understanding. And if any query is there, just place that in comment box. Thank you so much for watching this video.